definitely seems that things uh, are improving. I mean, we're seeing uh, CSA is being taken a lot more seriously by boards than before. But as you said, I think we've still got quite a journey to go on until we're at an appropriate num- appropriate level, I think that's fair to say. Mm. I think it's going to get better and better because we're going to have more and more threats. It's mm. becoming more and more in the media and it's being taken more seriously. You know, people in the, some CEOs in the US view um, cyber security risks thereof on par with a global recession. So I mm. think that, you know, we are hearing the right sort of language now, I think. Have you, has that been your experience as well? Yeah, mm. it, definitely. Look, breaches will always drive budget, Absolutely. sadly. Yeah. Um, and, but I've also, what we've also noticed is there's a, there's a, a differential, there's a difference in the, in the markets. So we have a CISO on our board who's, uh, who's in the West Coast of the US. And actually, I quite like the way he does things. He takes time out once a week where he gives 15 minute slots to every vendor to pitch your solution. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a great way of right, right, right. running things. And actually, when he told me that, I, I was, I said, why don't more people do that? Right. I appreciate time is something we CISOs just don't have. Uh, and, and I've seen this firsthand. Uh, you know, I've, I've worked next to some CISOs this year. And actually, I've been in meetings with CISOs and have just been dragged off. And then, well, that's it. You're not going to see them again until they, you know, solve the issue. But I think if they could do that, just Explore the market a little in a safe environment. Set the tone from the beginning. Look, mm-hmm. there's nothing going on here. No, I just want to understand what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I think that gives yeah. the, especially the, the new technologies, not necessarily you know the traditional big ones, and I'm not going to mention names. Mm-hmm. They know we we know who they are. But if you look at the new ones that are offering these very very cool innovative technologies, if we could be given that window with CISO, mm. it's just that even if it's an hour, you know, mm. you've got seven minutes to pitch your thing. And I know I've got you in the back of my mind. Thank you. Mm. I think that would be a, right. it, it's a game it, changer. It, it's a much more positive dynamic rather than the way it is at the moment where 100%. most CISOs just don't want to be sold by yet another vendor. And the vendors are constantly hammering the phones, just trying to smash into the CISOs. Yeah, well. that, that's broken that dynamic at the moment. That we need yeah. a better way of doing that. Yeah, hundred mm. percent. And 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 so globally, you know, there's that differences in globally. And then in the UK, you know, we are quite a mature market, mm-hmm. right? Um, I, I we I see it firsthand. The CISOs here, you know. You know, I, I don't know if it's going to be controversial, but you know. We are a little bit arrogant in that respect. You know, we, we, we can just ask our buddies, right? right? The reality of it is, it's a different conversation for your business. And what applies to you may not apply to your buddy's mm-hmm. business, right? Yeah. We're seeing that. So right. when I get, when I have that conversation with a CISO, I'm like, of course, ask your peers, right? But let's not ignore the wider community. Mm-hmm. Um, and let's let's not ignore the wider, you know, because it is support and it is help, and they do want to help. Everybody wants to help each other, and I think if we can just a bit of collaboration mm-hmm. like that, I think you know, certainly right. moving in the future, we've got to find a more functional way of getting yeah, vendors and security professionals to work together yeah. than it currently is, because it just yeah. doesn't work in the way it is at the moment. It's, yeah. not, it's not efficient for any of either party. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. you know, I'm hoping with Jenny, it's it, it is very disruptive. It does shorten a lot of cycles Mm -hmm. but what it does do it gives the market the Mm -hmm. vendors a voice cuts through the noise for everybody i want to give these guys a voice right yeah and at the same time i want to give all the you know the different users of the platform Mm -hmm. insight into this without having to talk to each other because if that's if that's a challenge Let's address that, right? Yeah. And let's let's get you guys connected in a safe environment. Yeah. Uh, where you're not necessarily going to have to be called by a sales yeah. guy or yeah. a marketing function or you have to sign up to something, right? Um, let's just keep it open, transparent, and you know, keep it in a in a in a container, if you will. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping, you know, we see a lot of we see, we see a lot of um, uh, well, a lot of community. That's what I want. Yeah. Ideally. I want a lot yeah. of, you know, community yeah. and from from what Jenny does and you know how we can help each other i guess